Hi, my name is Chris Desmond. I'm an aviation ambassador at Western Michigan University. In the spirit of Jimmy Fallon or Jimmy Kimmel, whichever your heart desires, this is Plain Facts from the College of Aviation. Hello, I'm here with Shelby Tierney. Uh, she works in recruitment outreach. Shelby, cows have sweat glands in what part of their body? I have no idea. Uh, their legs. It's their nose. And how many cirrus does WMU College of Aviation have? 26. 26 is right. Thanks, Shelby. So, Tom, this is Tom Dennis, Director of Recruitment Outreach. How long is the Nile River? 27 miles? Ah, a little bit off. 4,132 miles. <laughs> no way. Is that what, that's what you had on your thing? <laughs> 4,000 miles? I'm an idiot. <laughs> also, what are the four forces of flight? Well, that would be drag, thrust, lift, and gravity. You're an expert. Thank you. All right, this is Tom Van Howe. And Tom, what is the largest island country in the world? Australia. Oh, is Antarctica a country? The world's biggest island, according to this that I have in front of me, says Greenland. Oh, Greenland. But it seems like Australia might be bigger than Greenland. I'm not sure. That's, yeah. all, that's all right. The say no. <laughs> that's all right. I end. What is the... Uh, FedEx aircraft that this that the College of Aviation has that would be a Boeing 727 a really old one that yeah. that is correct yeah. Tom Van Howe aviation expert right. all right we are here with chief flight instructor Tom Grossman Tom what is the only city in the world to be located in two continents I don't know Ireland Ireland is a country but good try <laughs> Shoot. Yeah. Um, Istanbul Turkey Okay, I'm a little bit smarter now. Also, what was the original name of JFK Airport? Oh, that was back when I started to fly. Uh, Idlewood. I think you're right. Yeah. Good job. Thank Another you. aviation expert, guys. <laughs> back with Ryan Full and Ryan, uh, which U.S. city was the original Monopoly board based on? Uh, Ocean City, New Jersey. Hey, you're actually close. Atlantic City. Uh, man. <laughs> and uh, what is WMU's primary training aircraft? That is the Sirius SR-20. We are full of aviation experts here. This is awesome. All right, we are here with Professor Lori Brown. Lori, which, uh, which NFL team was the first team to win three Super Bowls? Well, I don't watch football, but I'll take a guess. How about the Broncos? The Broncos? Well, we like the Western Michigan University Broncos. The Denver Broncos. Oh, oh, it's the Pittsburgh Steelers. Well, that's close. All right. No. And let's see if we have another aviation expert. What is the bypass ratio of the JT-90 engine? Uh, the JT-90 bypass ratio is 5 to 1. 5 to 1. That is correct. Aviation experts everywhere. Awesome. All right. We are here with Director of Maintenance, Scott Austin. Scott, which U.S. state is the mountain state? Hmm, I'm going to say to start with an M. Maybe. Montana? It is not Montana. It does not start with an M. <laughs> it's West Virginia. What is the largest wooden airplane in the world? Well, I believe it's the Spruce Goose. And do you know who piloted it? Mr. Hughes. Howard, that is. That is correct. All right. Awesome. All these aviation experts. Thanks, Scott. <laughs> All right. Here with Dr. Ray Thompson. Ray is our associate dean. Dr. Thompson, what metal has the highest melting point? I'm going to go with Inconel X. Inconel X is wrong. What it, is it? It is actually tungsten. I know I thought about tungsten. Oops. <laughs> That's all right. And what is the advantage of a composite aircraft? Well, I can tell you from working in composites, when you look at our Cirrus, the big advantage is greater strength to weight ratio, improved wear, no corrosion, and the airplane will last almost forever. And uh, having owned an airplane that was 50 years old made of metal, I can appreciate unlimited life. That's impressive. On another aviation expert, thanks, Dr. Thompson. Cheers. Uh, back here with Divine Loving and Latanya Wilson. So, uh, Divine, yes. what is the diameter of the Earth? 
<laughs> 360 degrees. <laughs> you do know what diameter means, right? <laughs> really, your bed wedding tomorrow? <laughs> 100. <laughs> <laughs> That's all right. Oh That's all right. It's about 8,000 miles. Oh my I knew that. You should have asked me that one. I totally learned that five years ago. <laughs> <laughs> and Latanya, mm -hmm. whose face is on the $2 bill? <gasps> I don't know that would be <laughs> Dean Powell. I wish. That'd be pretty cool. Yeah. It's actually Thomas Jefferson. <laughs> yeah. Oh, okay. I didn't know that. <laughs> My dad wouldn't have known the answer to that. That's cool. All okay. right. <laughs> and Divine. Huh. So people fly in the sky. Uh -huh. What color is the sky actually? Blue. <laughs> <laughs> All right, LaTanya, what are the three degree programs offered at the College of Aviation? Aviation Flight Science, Aviation Management and Operations, and Aviation Maintenance and Technology. Perfect. And you two are definitely aviation experts. Yes. Yes, we are. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you for your interest in Western Michigan University's College of Aviation. For more information, please visit our website at www.wmich.com. Edu slash aviation, or if you'd like to talk to us in person, please give us a call at 269-964-6375.